My name is Safwan and I work as a research assistant at the transplant department. And I'll be presenting the topic, the impact of portal vein thrombosis grade and post reperfusion flow on post transplant outcomes. My co-authors and I have no conflicts of interest to disclose. Pre-transplant portal vein thrombosis not only makes the technical aspects of liver transplantation more challenging, but also affects post-transplant outcomes. Few studies describe the impact of PVT grade and post-reperfusion flow rates. One such study, recently performed by the Transplant Center at Baylor in Dallas, showed that the low portal flow, less than 1,300 ml per minute after thrombectomy, was associated with high rates of bilirubin strictures and worse graft survival. Hence, we aim to examine this association between portal flow and post-transplant outcomes at our center in addition to the impact of pre-transplant portal vein grade. The grading of pre-transplant portal vein thrombosis was done by reviewing preoperative radiological imaging. Intraoperative flow rates and other perioperative data were obtained by chart review. The statistical analysis were performed by our programming. Yerdle classification was used to classify the degree of PVT. 126, period, uh, 126 patients with preoperative PVT were identified between January 2007 and May 2017. On dividing the patients based on PVT grade, 73 patients had low grade and 53 had high grade, which is defined as uh, yearly grade two or, and higher. Based on post reperfusion flow rate, 95 patients had high flow greater than 1,000 ml per minute, and 31 had low flow less than 1,000 ml. We also performed a sub-analysis by dividing the patients into groups based on both flow rate and grade. Basic demographic and interoperative characteristics were similar across all the groups, except for biliary anastomosis, wherein those with grade two or higher had a higher rate of duct-to-duct -duct anastomosis compared to those with grade one. On studying post-operative outcomes among those PVT groups, biliary complications, especially biliary strictures, occurred more commonly in those with grade two or higher PVT. However, post-op hepatic artery thrombosis was seen more commonly in those with grade one. Other outcomes such as rejection rates, early allograft dysfunction rates, and instance of post-operative portal vein thrombosis were similar. Interestingly, the instance of biliary strictures over time was significantly higher in those who had high grade PVT compared with those who had low grades. On studying post-operative outcomes among the high and low flow groups, reoperation rate for biliary complications was higher in those who had low flows. Those with low flows also had a higher incidence of post-operative PVT and a longer hospital stay. We performed a Cox regression analysis to identify factors that affect graft survival post-transplant and observed that low portal flow, high PVT grade, and the occurrence of bile-leaks post-transplant to be significant factors. However, on multivariate analysis, high grade and the occurrence of bile-leaks were the only true significant factors. Finally, the sub-analysis combining flow and grade demonstrated that the patients with, the low, with low PVT grade and high flow rates had the best five-year graft survival. The lowest survival was observed in those who had high grade along with low flows. To conclude, biliary complications, particularly biliary strictures, appear to be more common in the patients with high grade PVT. There may be an association between the occurrence of post-transplant PVT, reoperation for biliary complications, and increased hospital stay with low portal flow. High-grade PVT, occurrence of bile leaks, and low portal flow may be an independent negative factors for graft survival. And high-grade of PVT combined with low portal flow measured after reperfusion is associated with low graft survival. Thank you.